I was going to run in the 40. So um, we just didn't want to risk it. You know, I didn't want to uh, pull in, not be able to work out through this draft process. And, um, you know, the, with the workout, the local workouts and stuff. Do you feel like you next level fits you? I mean, I lost. Yeah, I mean, obviously. Um, a, a scheme similar to us, you know, it's a team that's attacking, a little bit more creative, you know, uh, slanting, stunting, all that stuff. So, um, obviously, that would probably fit me a little bit more. But I, I'd like to think I was a little versatile. I played, you know, a little defensive end at the East-West game, which, you know, went okay. I did well in the run game. You know, it was a little different out on the edge, but uh, pass rushing at least. And, um, yeah, I just think I, I, I can fit into whatever they want just because of the, the type of person I am, the type of character I have, and that work ethic. Was that in the 4-3 or the 3 uh, at the East-West game? Yeah, at, at 4-3. So I think I'm probably more suited to play 3-4 uh, as a defensive end, right, considering right. Yeah, my yeah. athletic. Yeah. you have any idea? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to say <laughs> limitations. <laughs> I talked to Ryan. Do you, have oh. any, do you have any doubt that you'll be in the training camp, whether you get drafted or not, that you will be? I don't want to sound, you know, don't take, I don't take anything for granted. Obviously, um, I think given the career I had, you know, I think people know me for a long time being a four-year starter. Um, you know, I, I'd like to think I get an opportunity at the next level, even if it's just a training camp opportunity. So uh, we're, I'm hopeful about that. Um, but obviously, you know, every workout counts, and those are, that's kind of something that, uh, you know, I, I kind of thought I was going to go to the combine, and that didn't happen. So um, obviously, you know, you can't take anything for granted in that sense. What the player do you I'm compare yourself to the most? Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't... I'm not too familiar with, um, you know, defensive linemen. I just, I just kind of play with a high effort. Um, you know, play with quickness. I mean, the guy that I really like enjoyed watching was John Randall, just because of the passion he played with, the quickness he played with. Now he's, you know, he's a special athlete who was a great pass rusher in the NFL. But uh, he's just somebody I looked up to. Do you wear a face paint like him no, too? No, no, or no? no, no. He's all the way down <laughs> here with it. I, I just do a little uh, streak here. Okay. Yeah. Do you feel like the hamstring affected your jumping at all? Though? No. I, that was a personal record too. It was a nine okay. five, so that was um good. You know, 30, 30 and a half on the vert, which was good for me. I didn't think the hamstring was. It's, it's um, it didn't affect me at all in the jumping. A little bit, a lot in the running, obviously. What were your bench reps? Twenty two reps. Twenty two. Was that what you were expecting or? Uh, yeah, my my best before that was twenty one. So you know, with the adrenaline and the the crowd, you know, the, the crowd, but the underclass and really cheering you on, it definitely helped get that extra rep. How stressful is is it? I mean, is it more stressful than a game or? or Less or um, I, I think you treat it as a game. It's a very important day in your, you know, in your potential career. So um, that's something that you know we all, you know, we kind of take in that uh, that mentality. It's just that it's game day and it's showtime. Do you have a uh, social media, Twitter? Can yeah, anyone hit you up on that? On Twitter or? at uh, S Valone 94 and on Facebook just Scott Valone.